here in uh, Carroll County, Maryland, at a firewater pond. Actually, it's just a, a nice pond that was built at this farm, and they chose to put a dry hydrant in. And I want to talk about that. So a lot of times we get asked about uh, dry hydrants in ponds. But let's look at this pond. So this pond is in really good condition. And I want to point out a few things about it. One, it was man-made, right? So you can see the dam. And you can see earthen dam. And you can see that the dry hydrant is in the deep end of the pond. And that's important. So many of the ones we go look at that don't work end up being in the shallow end of the pond. And of course, that's in a matter of, hey, can you access it or not? So here you clearly can because there's a roadway that goes by. So uh, bottom line is a good design, right? Good design, the, uh, the dry hydrant goes in the deep end. The other part that's important is, right, so the pond is fairly deep. Uh, on this end, we're looking at least eight foot deep over here where the uh, strainer goes. You do have some aquatic growth and you notice that they do not mow to the edge and that is really important, right? That's what keeps your pond healthy. You don't see any kind of fountain in here. There's no need for that. If you kind of notice the ripples, you'll see that the wind is turning this pond over. So turnover in the pond is important. There's fish in the pond and there is the appropriate ratio of big fish to little fish, most likely. And if you notice, while they do have a bit of a close to the shore, majority around it is not. And that's a really important buffer. Uh, you call that the uh, littoral zone. And that becomes an important buffer for runoff into the pond. So, a uh, very healthy looking pond. Let's take a look down here for a moment. <clears throat> you can see, uh, even though there's some sediment on the bottom, that it drops off quickly. And in terms of aquatic growth in the pond, very minimal. So what that means is nutrient runoff is controlled because nutrient runoff, meaning like excessive use of fertilizer and all that, uh, that ends up growing algae and all the stuff on top of the pond. And really that doesn't happen here. The two pipes over there are some overflow so that the dam or the uh, pond doesn't top over. So wanted, we grabbed, uh, wanted to grab this pond because uh, this is a really good condition and uh, they've done a good job of planning that out and dropping that dry hydrant in. So the pond health is important. You know, uh, one of our specialties is master pond master, or master pond manager, sorry about that. And uh, we're taking a look at ponds and talking about, hey, are they gonna work? Are they not gonna work? Uh, what's their condition? What needs to be done to those? So this is a good looking pond. It's healthy. You don't see a lot of aquatic growth in there, uh, which means that it was designed well and they've done a good job of the literal zone in terms of uh, plants that are growing there and that controls that sediment runoff and the nutrient runoff. So anyway, sharing that, we'll post a couple pictures, but uh, probably going to try to do a flow test on this hydrant. If we grab a picture of that, we'll do that. We repaired this one that was... Uh, it had had a leaking suction head, so that had been why we were here.